Welcome to Dr. Danny TV, where each week I help you get happy and healthy and start living your dream life with the latest research from the world of mind, body, and integrated medicine. Today, I'm going to tell you a bit about the importance of sleep and how damaging it can be to your long-term health if you're not getting enough, particularly for women who are on average just are not getting the right amount of sleep each night. After breathing and having water, sleep is the most important biological activity that we need for survival. Sleep is essential for health and productivity, and it takes up more time than any other single activity that we do. It is so easy to get into a sleep debt cycle, sleeping a little less than you should just to save time on a regular long-term basis. This will lead to lots of problems with your energy levels and every other chronic health issue you can think of like mood, memory, focus and concentration, and even problems maintaining your weight. In the recent medical study on women's sleep, almost half of the healthy women in the study had sleep dysfunction, which affected everything from their anxiety levels, their mood, and even if they were slim versus if they got overweight, and even their blood pressure. Many sleep studies in the research literature show that on average, women sleep more hours than men do. However, studies show that despite having longer sleep times than men, women have a poorer quality of sleep than men on average, and they wake up more during the night. This is a factor in why more women are likely to wake up feeling unrefreshed, suffer with daytime tiredness and fatigue, and are prone to many chronic health problems related to poor sleep. Women's sleep is also impacted by our very biology, our menstrual cycles, and when we start to approach menopause due to hormonal changes. So if you're a woman who struggles with hormone changes and hormone imbalances over your cycle, for example, or fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue, you're more likely to have a sleep problem and have an issue getting quality sleep in the first part of the night, i.e. between the time you fall asleep up to about 3 a.m. And you're more likely to have fragmentation of your sleep affecting your mood and your energy levels during the day. The good news is that making small, consistent changes to your daily routine starting today can have a huge impact on your sleep. Getting good quality sleep is as important as not smoking, as exercising every day or most days, and not eating fast food every day. In fact, in the research, women are more likely to be more consistent, meaning successful, in implementing strategies to get more sleep. And this is because they're able to stick to earlier bedtimes based on the studies and scheduling in a nap during the day to help them catch up. Sleep debt is a huge problem because there's a big secret about it and it is that most doctors don't either know or emphasize enough that sleep debt is not something you can just work off over the weekend by sleeping in or catching up on the weekend. Unfortunately, sleeping in late on the weekends and trying to catch up on your sleep on the weekends actually disrupts your circadian rhythms, your 24-hour biological rhythms even more. And when you get after midnight sleep, it's not the same as that deep restorative sleep that you really need, that you need to get when you have sleep debt that you are not getting when you're going to bed later on the weekends and then trying to sleep in. So the only way to get rid of sleep debt is to start sleeping more hours every night or most nights before midnight. You also want to slowly start shifting your bedtime forward so that you're in rhythm with the natural cycles of light and darkness as much as possible. This is very critical to good sleep and most of us don't do it. Now I'm going to tell you how to calculate your sleep debt number. So most people actually need at least eight hours of restorative sleep per night. In fact, now many sleep experts are saying it's more like nine hours that most people need. So to get the number of hours you are in debt to get your sleep debt number, I want you to take the average number of hours you sleep per night for the last year, just average it out, and then subtract it from nine. So say you sleep an average of six hours. Okay, well nine minus six is three hours. Three hours times every day of the year, 365 days a year, it's over a thousand hours of sleep debt. The exact number is 1,095 hours of sleep debt that you have accrued just over one year. That's just for one year. And your brain, unfortunately, remembers far longer for sleep debt than only a year. So, the first step to starting to sleep better is making time for sleep, making sleep a priority. Devoting at least nine hours of time to being in bed is essential. So, if you are like many people and you have over a thousand hours or more of sleep debt, and you feel like you've tried every sleep tip already, but you're still not succeeding in getting to sleep and staying asleep, 
and maybe you feel like you need a system that will actually work for you, I've created a step-by-step -step program to help you start getting your sleep back on track. Just click on the link below. You can overcome the health issues that are holding you back from the freedom of feeling amazing every day.